If you're thinking about doing a rear battery relocation in your FDRX7, or maybe you can even use this idea for any other car that you have, I have a pretty neat idea where you can do the relocation without having to weld and without having to drill any holes. With a lot of cars, you just don't really care and you're like, screw it, just weld or drill holes into it. But the RX-7, these are getting more and more rare, going up in value. You just don't want to mess with them if you don't have to. I've refrained from cutting the fenders to put over fenders on it, drilling holes for a wing. In this setup, I'm going to use factory holes to mount the battery. Okay, this is what I came up with. Everything you can get from like Home Depot or Lowe's for probably under 20 bucks. You get these L brackets and there's another one over there. And then just two J hooks and then a flat bar that goes across the top. And you just clamp it down and it is in there. It is not going anywhere. So let's look at the mounting points and the factory holes that you got to use. So first, for grounding the car, really any hole works. Um, there is a hole here that's threaded, and there's a matching one on that side where this setup, this piece is bolted into. So um, I just sanded down some of the paint so you get a good ground connection. Um, and then it's a, I'll put the links in the description, or at least what it is. Um, I think it was an M8 by 1.25. And then, same thing with this side, M8, I believe, by 1.25 battery, or uh, bolt. And it's kind of hard to see in there, but same thing, you just get an L bracket, some washers, and a bolt. Um, just to, basically this setup over here. You get a bolt, and this bolt is, I believe it's a 10 by 1.25. Okay, and then you get a L bracket here. Put a J hook through it. And then you just get any piece of bar, just make sure it's a sturdy piece of metal. Um, Cause you do have some like, there's nothing underneath this. So it'll kind of bend. You can see it bend just barely. Just drill two holes into this bar. Have the J hooks come through, clamp it down. And you are solid with your battery setup. All factory holes, so one, two, um, two eight by 1.25 holes in the back, one hole here for the 10 by 1.25 bolt. Um, really, it's just these two that are holding the battery down. That one over there, I'm just using for a ground. You can ground it anywhere you'd like. But that's the overall setup right here. And it's still. It's totally out of the way, so you can still run a spare tire or groceries or whatever. And then, yeah, that's about it. Solid setup. Super cheap. Under 20 bucks for sure in parts. And it's, you can get all this at, you can get the brackets and bolts at Lowe's or Home Depot. And then this, uh, these J hooks, you can get that at like AutoZone for like four bucks. And then the, the bar across the top, I think, was like the most expensive. I think it was like 12 or $11. And then um, disregard this box. You don't really need it. I just had the box down here to keep things uh, more in place and flat at the bottom. So it's not pushing into the, into the actual trunk. But yeah, that's the setup. Hope this is a good idea. This might help some of you guys out instead of drilling holes or having to weld, it's not only inconvenient, but then you're like permanently, you know, messing up the car. I mean, you can always go back, but it's just extra work. This is keeping the car untouched. So next I'm gonna have to do some hard cornering and do a test drive, make sure everything works, nothing catches on fire or sparks, but it looks pretty solid. I smacked the battery, it doesn't move. It is solid, the lights turn on. It does crank over just fine, it has way more cranking power than the little Odyssey battery I had before and hopefully it'll last longer where it can just sit for weeks and not not die every time and have to jump it. So my main goal is to have a reliable car that'll start all the time. Um, not mechanical failure, just literally an electrical problem that I had in the past. So hope this helps. Maybe you can use the same idea for any other car you have. Just 
Find those factory holes and just get a bar long enough and clamp it down. All right. The next issue is I got to look into the air conditioning. I thought I had it fixed, but not. So that'll be another video. Thumbs up if you liked this video, if it helped you out, if it gave you any good ideas, or if you have a better idea, let me know in the comments below. And we're always improving, you know, so just share any ideas you got.